we are now dealing with negative rational indices. My goodness. All right, so let's look here. We've got a negative rational indice. What do you think we're going to do here? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the reciprocal of it in order to get rid of the negative. So I'm going to say that this is 1 over 9 to the power of a half. And just like that, I've gotten rid of the negative. I know that this is the same thing as 1 on the square root of 9, and I know that that's equal to 1 on 3. So that's how you would approach that question there. Let's highlight it, and let's go into the next one. Okay, again, they're just trying to warp our minds here. We've got a negative rational indice. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go 1 over 64, and now you can make it positive. Then you're going to have to break it up. So how can I break this up? I can say that this is 1 over, now this 3 is going to be the nth root, then I've got 64, and the whole thing is being squared. Okay, what is this going to be? Hmm, what is the cube root of 64? It is 4, because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Then we're going to square it. What is 4 squared? It is 1 on 16. And that's going to be our answer. Perfect. Again, make sure you can type this into the CAS. So nothing too crazy here. We're just going to come here and we're going to type in 64 raised to negative 2 thirds. The answer is 1 on 16. Perfect. Make sure you can do it on your CAS. Make sure you can do it by hand. Make sure it makes sense. And if it does make sense, make sure you're reaching out to your teacher.